Hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Travels. So if you're watching my lifestyle channel, welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle. Hi, how are you all doing? I hope everybody's as well as possible. Um, the weather today in Northwest Leicestershire and um, United Kingdom has been raining. Um, so it's not been good at all um, today. And a lot colder. Um, and the weather's a lot different from yesterday um, Hi if you're new here to my channel My name's Rebecca I love talking about travel and lifestyle uh, Don't forget to um, subscribe to my channel And don't forget to hit the notification bell So you never miss an upload So um, let's jump right into the video today And it's going to be travel uh, budget travel special april 2023 part one uh, 10 exciting facts so uh, please keep watching and um, uh, i'm getting the information from rd.com and uh, yes i do ag um, again agree with this information and um, so i'm going to fire away with number one which is to set a budget uh, the key to traveling on a budget is to figure out exactly what your budget is or how much money um you've got to spend on your trip but how much you realistically need depends on the type of trip you are planning and where you're uh, planning to go um, an international vacation would typically typically cost you um, a lot more um, than travelling domestically or say as a staycation um, in your own country um, thanks to airfare and, and planning a family vacation will generally be priced the art um, in the long run then solo excursions because obviously um, families have to think about um, entertaining ch uh, children um, and someone that's just going on their own and um, just obviously just needs to entertain themselves and um, and uh, moving on to number two um seek out an affordable uh, destination you could uh, try staying um close uh, to home uh, so uh, you can uh, can drive to your destination which again can be um ch uh, cheaper say for instance um not far from here um about say an hour hour and a half's travel is the peak district um in derbyshire so um if you live around northwest leicestershire in the uk um you could go it for instance to, uh, to the peak district for a vacation that's isn't it too far away um and number three uh plan ahead as far as possible you can uh, use the best travel apps to compare and track different options where to stay and um, how to get there uh, number four let cheap flights lead the way and at uh, number five be flexible with your uh, timing traveling in the shoulder period or mid-season um which is at uh, the uh, which is the time either side of high season and uh, when prices start to drop but you can still enjoy some of the perks of peak season travel time and uh, number 
six at fly midweek it's often cheaper than flying on a weekend and uh, number seven uh, rental cars uh, will often flick fluctuating price and offer free cancellations sometimes so uh, book early and then continue to check the rates uh, for a better deal and um, number eight explore different lodging options when choosing between a motel versus a hotel in the u.s USA United States of America consider um, how many or how how few um, facilities or amenities uh, you really need and uh, where you exactly want to lay your head during your trip for example a uh, a fun retro retro style motel will let you stay in comfort and cleanness uh, with a touch of um kinch just say and a micro hotel likewise uh, provides a clean if a uh, teeny space to um sleep without all the bells and whistles and can be a solid option um, for solo travellers who just don't need a lot of space and uh, number nine if you um, are travelling with a group uh, location matters on a um, jam-packed weekend trip for example you will not want to spend a lot of time uh, getting to and from the sites uh, plus uh, those in in town transportation costs uh, will all add up as well so if you do pick uh, say a an apartment and um, hotel motel uh, airbnb um hostel and it's a long way uh, from a lot of uh, the facilities or a lot um a long way from the town or city center then again it can be a disadvantage because you've got to add on travel costs um either adding on like bus or train tickets to get into the centre um, so you would want to book an, um, an accommodation that is again close to the, um, the city centre especially if it's just for one or two nights just a weekender and uh, last but not least hunt for f uh, free things to do affordable activities like um museums etc a uh, group on often offers discounts for museums aquariums admissions activities such as i stay skating boating excursions and even meals so that's um, a good app uh, to get group on so thank you for watching and um please um i hope everybody has as good at night as possible please keep watching and thank you and i'll see you tomorrow um for another travel uh, special video which is going to be a celebrity special so please keep watching and thank you enjoy your night and bye for now thank you bye